Good evening and welcome back to the big story, or big story tonight. For the first time since independence 55 years ago, a House of Parliament is holding its sittings outside Nairobi. The Senate is holding its week-long Senate Mashinani meeting in Eldret in Wasin Gishu County in the very first of its kind in the country. Kenyans in the country are up in arms saying senators are being grandiose in the midst of a financial crunch in the country. We have spoken to John Mbadi, minority leader in the National Assembly, a man who's taken a firm stand uh, supporting the controversial finance bill 2018. John Mbadi says senators are wrong for not reading the mood in the country before embarking on this uh, Mashinani trip to Eldred County. But uh, James Orengo is a Senate minority, minority leader and uh, CIS senator says uh, the senators uh, did not go uh, beyond their mandate and this was uh, already uh, factored in uh, within the budget before. He goes ahead there to say that there should be more measures uh, that have been put aside other than the austerity measures by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Well, let's bring in our governance experts in the studio tonight. I'm joined by Professor Duncan Ojuang as well as Steve Ogutu. Gentlemen, many thanks for joining us tonight. We're in the midst of a very uh, serious time for the country uh, economically and financially. Let me begin with you, Steve Ogutu. Was the Senate right for going on this trip at this time? First of all, thanks for having me, um, Michelle. I think um, the Senate um, is the senators are, be, are being hypocritical. You know, for a very long time they have they have been saying you know they are uh, playing the oversight role, and we have seen them castigating you know governors you know for m misusing resources. You know, we've seen them castigating MCAs for misusing resources, for going to, for, for benchmarking um, activi activities outside the country. Um, and to see uh, them now, you know, the whole, the whole Senate, you know, going to have um, <laughs> what, they, what they're calling Senate Mashinani meeting in a place like Eldoret, you know, where they're going to be there for a whole week, you know, I know they have their personal assistance, you know, um, you know um, the, the fuel they'll be using, those are, those are going to be catered for by the taxpayers' money. I'm sure some of them will be, actually did fly to, to, uh, fly to, to Eldoret, that is taxpayers' money. So for me, I think they're really being hypocritical. And um, it, it's not the best choice, you know, not just at this time, but at any given time. Um, our wage bill as a country is very high. And we've seen the government really saying, you know, it's, it's getting out of hands. But instead of trying to reduce that and um, meet, come up with, uh, you know, strategies to reduce our expenditures as a country, then we're seeing, you know, uh, you know people like the, you know, the senators, you know, trying to misuse resources, which is not a good thing. You know, right now, the, the, the citizens of this country are crying. The tax that the, the tax that we are, we are about to start paying is really paining us, you know, as, as taxpayers. And uh, to see leaders who we've elected to represent our interests, you know, misusing the taxes that um, we, we are raising for purposes of development of this country, I think it's, it's, it's really a, a very sad a very sad affair for, for us as citizens of this country. All right, uh, Professor Ojuang, I mean, just, uh, you know, reading from what uh, Steve uh, says there, I uh, was speaking to James Orengo and, you know, quoting him, he says he doesn't think what, what the senators have spent is anything more uh, than the, the, the regular, the regular uh, you know, allowances that they get while sitting in Nairobi. But it doesn't escape the, the ordinary Kenyan that this particular trip outside of Nairobi would mean extra allowances for the MPs, extra fuel, extra security, and of course, um, there seems to be a party afterwards. All of it costing the taxpayers a bit more money. Are you reading hypocrisy from the Senate House? Yes, th thank you for the opportunity. Um, Dr. Juang, Council for University Education will not agree with the us that I'm a professor yet. Um, I'm not professing law yet. I'm a law lecturer. Uh, so I'm Dr. Juang, not professor yet. But... Uh, I, I think Orengo's uh, tired argument or excuse, it's almost like he's saying, given the high altitude, the debate is better 
when we are in the Rift Valley, the atmosphere is good. I mean, there's nothing Orengo say today. Uh, and for a very long time, Orengo have been making a lot of sense. But today, uh, he was so wobbly, to use his own words, that he's talking of the atmosphere is better there. Uh, so I, if I assume that Senate is rational, uh, which is fair to assume, then probably uh, they know what we don't know. Maybe we are not that badly off, <laughs> assuming they are rational. Uh, because it will also be unfair to assume they are irrational. Uh, and if they are rational, then either we are okay, or they know something that this money and these taxes are simply raised. This is less money for corruption. Uh, in other words, uh, they are not buying the, the, the false consciousness that we are being told that tighten your belt, it's time for us to pull our country by the bootstrap. Uh, they are not buying that. But uh, to share, uh, like other Kenyans, uh, it, it, it looks like the rule of the forest. The monkey walk, the baboons eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you go to Naivasha, uh, you'll find donkeys there. The donkeys know that in the morning they go and bring green napier grass for the cows. And then they are tied by the roads. Uh, that's where they get their daily. So it, it, it is very sad. But I also agree in the bigger picture that uh, there are a lot of ways that are not as visible as what Senate is doing now that uh, seem not to be caught. Uh, back to the tax issue, you know that we are supposed to be contributing money for the house allowance and whatever. And, and that is exactly the danger when you turn campaign songs to policy issues. When uh, Jubilee campaign songs of this is what we want to do and this is why you should vote for us turn to be campaign issue that now Kenyans are supposed to uh, lift the burden. So if I'm an employee and I am, I'm supposed to be uh, giving money every month so that uh, President Uru could buy whoever he wants some house, you see. All right. Uh, uh, but let's focus, Dr. Ojuang, uh, you know, just, just a moment on the role of Senate, and this is the role of oversight. Uh, we've been seeing a, a lot of reports, especially from the Auditor General, of the amount of graft that is taking place within the county governments. And despite that, we still have uh, the Senate here shooting down the decision to slash 9 billion shillings to the counties. Has the Senate so far, uh, you know, fulfilled its mandate of oversight? even as it goes out on this Senate Mashinani initiative to try and become closer to the people? Yeah. Uh, I, I, more wastage have been at the national government than, this, than the county. I think we, we, we need to be fair. And, uh, and, 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 and so more money, more taxpayers' money. And so if we have to be mad at something, then it should be the national government before county. Uh, that does not excuse what counties are doing, but it just shows that they are uh, copycat and copying from the national government. So, so you can't tell one part of the family to tighten their belt while another one is high-fiving and, and partying all night. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, the country consciousness has not been brought, though the executive tried to make this argument, that we are in a very bad situation because we have not seen them operating like they are in bad situation, uh, that we are doing so bad and that everything that should be done has been done from their end. Mm -hmm. So it will be unfair uh, to, 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 to argue that uh, counties... Uh, all they do is waste money because you know what they have is 15% of, uh, of the national budget that was lastly uh, audited in 26 years ago. A lot of money are wasted at the national. But be as it may, I agree with you that uh, Senate have not been good custodians of, uh, of the resources at the grassroots. Remember, senators realize uh, that the pass is at the counties and with the governors. And in afterthought, they, it looks like they are now realizing that, you know, we need to work closely with these uh, governors and maybe get whatever we can get. And so they have not played, they have played zero oversight role. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And of course, uh, they say that they're doing this to get closer to the people in goal, I know, down to the grassroots, but I don't know if this really is uh, in reading the national mood, which would be part of going down to the grassroots. But let me bring uh, Steve Ogutu um, once again. I mean, the contentious issues of the high cost of living and the increment in living, the most basic uh, of commodities in the country. President Uhuru Kenyatta proposed austerity measures, which of course uh, included reducing VAT or failed products from uh, 16% to 8%. We've had Orango there, however, saying that those austerity measures are not honest. There should be different things done uh, to bridge the fiscal deficit there. Uh, What do you think, then, the country should do as opposed to the austerity measures that have been Mm -hmm. proposed? Well, I think um, the challenge that this country is facing goes beyond, you know, increasing. um, It cannot be addressed, really, by increasing, you know, tax. You know, and, 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 you know, we all know that this country loses close to over 600 uh, billion every year to corruption. Mm-hmm. So for me, I think in everything that the government is trying to do, whatever the government calls austerity measure to address um, matters corruption, I mean, um, uh, to address, uh, to, 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 to um, improve you know, uh, governance and development in this country, I think the, the, the best place to go is actually to tackle corruption. And I know there is some good um, steps by the DCI and the ODPP in trying to, to, to address uh, this menace of corruption. And we actually seeing some goodwill from the, from the president. But then I think this should not be turned into a PR stunt. We need to see some of these people who've been indicted uh, by the courts you know, or by the, or the Auditor, General's, uh, Auditor General report as these guys need to be investigated and evidence need to be collected. And if they are found guilty, then uh, these people need to actually face the law uh-huh. so that people know that actually when you are, you've been elected by citizens to represent them, to, to, protect, to protect their rights and to, you know, to be custodian of uh, development in whichever space you've been uh, elected to represent, then you're supposed to protect and advance the public interest, mm-hmm. not your personal interest, as opposed to what we are seeing at the moment. I think um, there is need to have very genuine measures. As a country, our debt is so bad at the moment. You know, um, We are at 56% of our GDP, both uh, internal and external debt. You know? And IMF um, you know, um, recommendations for a debt level that a country can go, especially a developing country like Kenya, is at 40%. So we are way above that. And I think something needs to be done. If, if, if all we'll keep on doing is go on and keep on borrowing money and we are not addressing corruption, which is eating the future of this country, mm-hmm. then I think we are doing a lot, a lot of zero work. Right. And I think and that should not Go, go on as, as such. Mm-hmm. And many, many have agreed that it is solution. graft and not really the constitution uh, that uh, is to blame for uh, what is happening in the country. But uh, Dr. Ojuang, yes. uh, you know, just like Steve has said, and uh, the Senate as well. So big is the difference, in fact, that uh, we've already had a member of parliament, Soy, a member of parliament, uh, Caleb Kositani, they are writing to nationals, uh, national speaker, National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi with the name of scrapping a number of public offices which would effectively offer some government, I mean, um, some freedom for the government. And among these is the Senate positions, uh, positions of members of uh, county assembly as well. And earlier on, Orengo did say that uh, the executive is not being honest with these austerity measures. So let's look at this, um, you know, in terms of the positions, even the cabinet, uh, the CAS positions that, that President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, uh, introduced earlier this year. Is this something we need to look into? And is the executive being honest? Very briefly. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, no, the government is bloated. Uh, for the members of parliament, the, the as National Assembly, to point to the Senate... It's like uh, chicken advising human that you need to eat more cows so that we survive. I, I mean, whichever way, we can choose to keep Senate and not Parliament, g- given what we saw Parliament do. And, and people like Mbadi, it's just two days since he did us very wrong. So I, I cannot take an advice as a human being or as a Kenyan that the chicken are lobbying that I eat more beef 
and therefore that is a good advice. They are both interested parties, they are both selfish to the bone and the core, uh, but it is very true that there is a lot that can be done. I, I don't know whether if you went through Kenyan system at class six, there is a very famous poem about uh, two people, one a driver and another one is a CS. And at the end of the meeting, they are both going home yawning, one from drinking excess cappuccino and coffee and mocha, the other one from starving. And then the CS asked the driver, uh, Ogola is nodding, I, I believe he read that poem. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one asked uh, the driver, uh, Mwananchi, uh, did you have something to eat? And the, uh, and the, the driver is saying no. And then uh, they are both yawning, one from overeating, another one from, from starving. And All the right. CS say these are we the... We have to wind up, Dr. Joy. Right. And the CS tells the, the driver, these are the ulcers we get while building the nation. Mm -hmm. And the right. poem is the two-nation builder. That's so we are all building nations from different sides, and uh, there, is, uh, there, is, uh, there is no confidence uh, from our leaders to also try to meet us halfway. And it appears Kenyans will suffer for a very, very long time. All right, thank you so much for your input, uh, Dr. Duncan Ojuang, who is a governance expert, as well as a governance expert, Steve Ogutu, joining us in studio to discuss the Senate and the money as Senate embarks on its first ever Senate Mashinani initiative in Eldoret, Wasin Gishu County. That is the big story. Many thanks for joining us. My name is Michelle Ngele. Good night.